Ever since I have been a small child, I have been absolutely fascinated by the world of Stonehenge, or should I say Stonehenge, and how we could possibly make our own magical model of such a wonderful monument. Okay, here we go. What you do is, first of all, you go out to your local store where they sell toys, and you buy yourself a topple tower, or more commonly known as the board game Jenga. It's such a lot of fun. What you do then is you get yourself lots of Jenga bits like so. And you put them round the table like so. And before you know it, you've got yourself your own miniature Stonehenge. It's incredible. Just look at the way that these bits assemble themselves all over the table, one bit after the other. And then if you're even better, you can set yourself up with a light in the corner of the room so that you can imagine what it must be like on a summer solstice. If we pretend that over there is the sunlight, look down there at the way that the summer solstice appears through the beauty of Stonehenge. Oh my gosh, let's make ourselves a magical wish. And you can even pretend that the monument has, uh, has eroded over the years. You can put extra bits all over the place. As if man has come along with giant bulldozers and, and uh, woolly mammoths. And uh, over the years, these things have changed the scenery as we know it. Anyway, quickly, we're almost done. There we go. There we go. This is Stonehenge. There we go. Version, version 1.0. Okay, Stonehenge, everybody, simply made out of Jenga with the summer solstice lights. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Mwah. Love you.